Hello friends, welcome to Bootstrap 5 video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood what is Bootstrap, how to download Bootstrap, how to add Bootstrap to our website, Bootstrap text formatting classes, text size classes, text color classes, background color classes, heading classes, text alignment classes and text transform classes. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss bootstrap image classes. We understand bootstrap image related classes step by step. You can see at the desktop we have my dash website folder. I open it. Inside my dash website folder, I have created a folder with the name images. Inside images folder, I have placed cola.jpg image. I come back. Inside my dash website folder, we have default.html page. I right click on it, say open with notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to bootstrap demo. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with google chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the chrome. Title is set to bootstrap demo. Let's understand bootstrap image related classes. First we have img-thumbnail class. It is used to display an image with rounded border. img-thumbnail class is used to display an image with rounded border. For example, here in the body section, I am using img tag and then I say src. In double quotations, I say images forward slash cola.jpg. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the cola image is displayed. Let me reduce its width. To reduce the width, I take help of the width attribute and set the width to 20%. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that the image width is reduced. Automatically, height also reduces. I am going to copy this line of code and paste two times. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, two more images displayed. Now what I want, I want to add the rounded border around this second image. Okay, so simply I am going to say here class of img-thumb thumbnail. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the second image in the first row has rounded border added. You can see that there is a rounded border added, right? I want to do same thing to the third image. So simply I am going to say here class of img-thumbnail. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that the rounded border is added to the third image of the first row. Simple? Okay. Next we have rounded class. Rounded class is used to display an image with rounded corners. Rounded class is used to display an image with rounded corners guys. For example, here I say br and then I am going to copy this line of code, paste three times, one, two, three. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see we got one more row of images. What I want, I want to display the second image which is available in the second row with rounded corners. Okay. I want to convert the corners of this image into rounded corners. Very simple. We say here class of, of rounded. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see the second image in the second row has rounded corners. Same thing I want to do to the third image. So simply I am going to say here class of rounded. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see third image in the second row has rounded corners. Very simple. Good. Next class we have is rounded circle class. It is used to display an image in circular or oval shape. Rounded dash circle class is used to display an image in circular or oval shape. Guys. For example, I am going to say here br. I copy this line of code and paste here three times. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. We got one more row of cola image here. Right. What I want, I want to display this image in a rounded shape. Okay. I want to crop it in a rounded shape. So what I do, 
I say here class of RO event rounded dash circle. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that the second image in the third row is getting displayed in the oval shape. It is just getting displayed in the oval shape because its width and height are different. If width and height are same, then the image will get displayed in the circle shape as. For example, if I come here, I set the width to 100 pixels and height to 100 pixels. Now this image has same width and height. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, it has same width and height. To this image, I am going to add the class of ROUNDED, rounded dash circle. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see the third image in the third row is getting displayed in the circle shape guys. I hope you guys are clearly understanding. IMG thumbnail, rounded class, rounded circle class, fine. Next we are going to understand how to float images in bootstrap, how to float images in bootstrap. For that what I do, here I am going to add a br tag and then I am going to create a paragraph, opening p, closing p. To this paragraph I am going to add this content, copy and paste, simple. And to this I am going to add a class, to the paragraph I am going to add the class of border, let's say border dash primary. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see the paragraph is displayed. To this paragraph, I am going to add the image guys. Simply, I am going to copy this and paste here. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see the image is added to the paragraph. And if you carefully observe, the paragraph is starting, right? The first line if you observe, it is starting at the middle of the image, right? I want to start this paragraph at the top of this image, right? It should start from here. So simply what we have to do, is we have to take help of the class called as called as float dash start that means float left guys if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see now the paragraph is starting at the top and the image is floating to the left side right image is floating to the left side and if you carefully observe the border is getting displayed lesser right actually the paragraph should have the border from here and here right to get this height back to display the border properly here, what we have to do is we have to use the class called as clear fix. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, we have successfully floated the image to the left side. If you want to float the image to the right side, so simply you have to say here float end guys. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, now the image is on the right side, content is on the left side. If you want the image on the left side, content on the right side, you simply say here float start. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. Image is on the left side, content is on the right side, right? That's it guys for this video tutorial. I hope you guys have clearly understood bootstrap image related classes. I suggest you people to note down the classes, try to remember all the classes because they are very helpful while designing the responsive websites and practice as much as possible. If you like this video, hit the like button and uh, share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about Bootstrap 5. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys, thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.